Sounds working. Great. Well, <laughs> that's always a good way to test it. Make sure, because sometimes the sound isn't on, so that's oh. not good. Oh, welcome back to another WCN Live here in the Wilson County News break room. My name is Kristen Weaver. I am Director of Operations here, and today I have... Viola Henke. Neela Hopkins. Thank you so much, ladies, for being with me uh, today um, to come in for these questions and have a little interview. Uh, before I get started, I would like to thank our sponsor, uh, The Price Way, which includes the dealerships Price Chrysler Dodge Ram and Jeep and Richardson Brothers Chevrolet, located here in Floresville on 181 next to each other. And you can shop all makes and models, as well as a huge service department and also careers. So give them a shout out. They're tagged in the description. Um, and thank you, The Price Way, for being our sponsor of WCN Live for all of these episodes. Uh, next, we have a comment, um, a winner to draw. So let me explain that. When we're live on these videos, we ask that you post a comment and then your name will be entered into a drawing on the next week's episode. So this week we have some people who commented on our last video and I'm gonna ask you guys to draw me a winner from that, please. Thank you. All right, and our winner is Sherry Travis Tyree. Congratulations, Sherry. We'll be reaching out to you on Facebook Messenger um, to come pick up your prize. You win a C Street gift shop gift bag and we'll be reaching out. So congrats and be sure to share this video and get people watching so that we can, in fact, while I'm doing this, I'm going to share it, um, get some people on live today and have some discussions. So remember that you can ask questions in the comments and we'll be looking at those as we go. Good morning, Sherry. Thank you for joining us. And uh, today is going to be um, an exciting conversation. Can't wait to hear all about what these ladies have in store because you can see that they're very special. Uh, they're even, they've even been referred to as the queens. <laughs> I love that. Um, but you guys are very special and we're really excited that, to have you on. So today we are talking with Viola Hankey and Neela Hopkins and they are uh, the ones who run the Floorsville Opry. Um, our founder, Viola, and I'll let y'all explain all of that, but um, no further ado, please. Uh, let's go ahead and have you introduce yourself. Like again, Viola, who you are, where okay. you're from. Okay, uh, I'm Viola Henke. A oh gosh, I freeze up. <laughs> this is casual. Yeah. You're from uh, Floresville. You've been here a long time. Yeah, but I'm not good at this. <laughs> you're doing great. You can do those Opry's over and over again. This is. Piece I'm of cake. A, a lifelong uh, resident of Floresville, with the exception of. Uh, one year uh, when we lived in Corn City, Texas. And uh, after retiring from Floresville Light and Power uh, yeah. in 2006, I joined the Wilson County Historical Society. And uh, after that, I was made uh, the producer of the Floresville Opry. And uh, wow, it's that was. The rest is uh, history, yes. right? Yes. <laughs> uh, the Opry is a fundraiser mm -hmm. for the Wilson County Historical Society. Mm -hmm. And we... And that started back in, all the way back to 2011. Yes, That's, yes. That was the first yeah. Opry. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And all these years later, it started as... So you started that because you saw um, a good opportunity to... Uh, well, raise some, raise some uh, funds, funds for the Wilson County Historical Society. Very good. Uh, um, we have done... Uh, the money we make, it's put back into the community. We have, uh, do the society does historical markers and oh, yeah. uh, uh, scholarships. Mm -hmm. And then our big project has been the Wilson County uh, Jailhouse Museum. Right. And that was a, a big project, but she it's finished been. now. That's exciting. Yes. Well, um, so let's turn to Neela. Give us a little introduction about you. I'm Neela Hopkins. Uh, we moved to Floresville in 2017. I'm retired, and I just got involved. Mm -hmm. I love this town and the people. It's just been a terrific, terrific thing. Um, I We were introduced. Kirby and Ginger Smith uh, took us to Opry one night. And then we went back the next month, the next month. Well, yeah. finally, they introduced me to Viola. And 
next thing I know, she was calling me and invited me to a, a historical society meeting. Mm -hmm. So I went and joined, and the next thing I knew, I was secretary oh my <laughs> for a term <laughs> and um, got involved with mm -hmm. Opry, and I've loved it. I've loved it. So we, it's gone from, like, here to there. Mm -hmm. so it really has. It's been great. That's been, that's been a lot of fun. Um, so in addition to the Opry, that's not your only involvement um, or, let's say, efforts that you've, uh, projects that you've been involved True. with for the Historical Society. And there's a big one that you have um, helped see through and you're still working on, the Brick still Campaign. Still working on it. Right? We redid the sidewalk leading up from the street to the jailhouse. Right. And uh, with bricks that are engraved and they were, uh, they're $100. You get three lines, 20 characters per line, mm -hmm. and it really is looking beautiful. Yeah, now, if I is. could just take a second, there has been kind of a delay on getting the bricks in. We have them, but I'm trying to coordinate the contractor's time, yeah. my time, you know, everybody's yeah. time to finish. So mm -hmm. if your brick isn't down, it will be down soon, I promise. Yeah. And, um, but sales continue. Good. So there's no deadline. So if you ever feel like doing That's it, nice. just go on yeah. to our website, our, and there's a link, mm -hmm. or just send your request to jailhousebrickbricks, sorry, at gmail.com. Right, right. And I will send you an order form. Right. So, and if you uh, don't remember, but I would like to plug the website for you, it's wilsoncountyhistory.org. Right. When it's right there on the top of the page to learn more about that brick campaign to get you to the contacts for Neela and um, getting your, your brick order in. So, very good. That's very exciting. Um, do you all want to go ahead and give, what, what details do you have about the Jailhouse Museum? Can you share a little bit more about that, it's, the fact that the project is done? It's finished. It, yeah, it's complete, it's restored. Well, there's a it's, couple windows they had left to mm -hmm, do. Right. So, but uh, tours was, are happening. and Tours, they do paranormal tours. Yeah. And we've had some paranormal, uh, paranormal investigators come in. Mm -hmm. And wow. that's kind of cool. Yeah. Yeah, it's different. No, that's yeah. different. Uh -huh. um, but uh, it's open, and I think now because it's finished, it's yeah. free. They're not charging oh. admission. And I think every quarter, maybe it's three months, whatever, yeah. they have uh, a different uh, exhibit. Exhibit, right. Right. Display, they just did the military. I right. think now they're working on schools. schools. Right. Yes. Schools is the next exhibit. So it's kind of neat. So even come back. I mean, mm -hmm. if you've been there, still yeah. come back. Yeah, absolutely. That Things does give change. you a reason to come back because right. you have a refreshed exhibit. And, right. Wow, really keeps history alive. That's great. Um, well, next on our list is to talk about something different. Um, I say different because it's a little bit a, th a different theme from your Floresville Opry. So first of all, but we should remind folks, oh, I forgot about this. Um, well, as we talk about it, sorry for my mix up. We're going to talk about the Western Shindigs. So. The next Western Shindig is actually Saturday, August 17th, 17th right? And we have some t uh, tables to give away. So what we want, what we're asking is for in the comments to tell us who your favorite performer, headliner of the Floresville Opry in past years, who that favorite, favorite headliner has been. Give us those um, answers in the comments and then we are going to be drawing some winners for some tables to the western shindig coming up which is next on our list to talk about so what do you want to tell us about that um the first launched the western shindig last year right yes uh, but did you want to uh, me to tell them about how the opry started oh um well i thought we kind of did that but well we'll let's let's back up a little bit um and Go ahead and tell us, how did that Opry start? Well, it was a, a, the origination was a conversation with Luana Newnham Lewis mm -hmm. and uh, myself That's at the 90th birthday party at uh, SBJST Hall. And everyone mm -hmm. was just having such a good time and they were dancing to classic mm -hmm. country music. Mm -hmm. And so uh, Luana and I said, you know, well, the society was needing to make some money, mm -hmm. and so uh, uh, we said, you know, this might be something good for us to do. Right. And so uh, the seed was planted, mm -hmm. and we 
uh, uh, went forward with it with good participation right. and sponsorships and I'd like to thank Wilson County News for uh, being a sponsor since we started in 2011 every month they yeah. come That's to our amazing. rescue you know? and we appreciate it you're welcome and so uh, then from there with good help from the society members mm -hmm. and a a uh, team of workers like Neela and yeah. Ruby and Sarah and quite a few others. Yeah. Uh, it's been successful it's mm -hmm. for the past three, uh, well, it started in uh, December of last year through uh, June. We have had sold out attendance operas yeah. and yeah. we're getting like so crazy. Mm -hmm. uh, 450 to 475 yeah. oh my gosh, uh, people so cool. and yeah. it's good for the city too mm -hmm. and the county absolutely and the classic country music so because i i remember from years in the past that there were some different groups that tried to have those type of events to really to host that music mm -hmm. and then you just came along and you made it happen and then repeatedly, you know, so I was back in the day, uh, remember that in 2011 and starting and, you know, it would be quarterly at first. Your daughter, right? used, uh, Julia, yeah, would sing yeah, you, the national anthem. Right. You allowed um, the local town, talent to kind of have a, a, a platform as well and really share that. But the classic country music, there's something very special about, um, I think, keeping that alive, but also having a family friendly event, which is. And that's the best yes. part of mm -hmm. it. Everybody just has. It's just a good time. It really is. You have a bite to eat. Mm -hmm. You chit chat, oh, the chit chat. And then. <laughs> oh, the dancing. Do you get out dancing. of their way? That, this yeah. is some serious <laughs> dancing. Get on that dance floor. Right. Mm -hmm. We have line dances yeah. and something uh, for everyone. Two steps. You really do. <laughs> Waltzes. Yeah. Waltzes. Waltzes. Focus. Oh, I know. It's fantastic. Yeah. It's mm -hmm. a real family friendly environment. Right. And there's and kids there. Right. Yes. They families bring their okay. kids, which Absolutely. is great. Yeah, it's really nice. Yeah, so the Opry's happen every month on the first Thursday of the month. Every month, month. Mm -hmm. uh -huh. right. and uh, we have three caterers that we use, uh, mm -hmm. Outlaw yeah. Catering, Malchers uh, from Poth, and Witties from nice. uh, Lavernia, mm -hmm. and uh, let's see what else. Yeah. Uh, so you can we have a, the meal is mm -hmm. at five. And the music is from 6 to 9.15, 9.30, it varies yeah. in there. Yeah. And uh, It's changed a little bit. There used to be a silent auction. Oh. And that did really well. A lot of people donated things, mm -hmm. and I've gotten some great buys. Oh, yeah. But um, now we've changed it to a dessert silent auction. Ooh. So we have all these cakes <laughs> and pies and baked goods. Cool. And that's the silent auction now. That's nice. And then in the corner, because a lot of people don't want to wait to get their dessert, because mm -hmm. we had a dessert yeah, bar, yeah. Um, I, we started coffee and cupcakes. Mm -hmm. So they can yeah. get a quick dessert now mm -hmm. and then still take their pie or cake later, right. whatever. That's so, a great and idea. And that's kind of worked out. Mm -hmm. And then we, Oscar, and mm -hmm. I never can say his last name. Amuhara. Yes. Mm -hmm. He donated a popcorn machine to oh, us. Cool. So this month we will have popcorn, mm -hmm. uh, or I should say the August, I'm sorry. It's okay. not August. And then September with Sean O'Brien, mm -hmm. we'll have what we call the $20 arm pull. Hmm. And we okay. walk around with a roll of tickets, yeah. and they give me $20, and they take a ticket on one side, they stretch Ooh, their arms boy. as far. Mm -hmm. That's where I rip off the tickets. Cool. And there's some great prizes oh, nice. at the end of okay. that. So okay. you get a lot of tickets. You get a lot of money. tickets for 20 bucks. Wow. <laughs> well, reminding uh, those of us who are just um, jumping on this video that we want you to post in the comments, um, tell us hi and everything else for a chance to win in next week's drawing, but also tell us uh, your, your favorite headliner or performer from a past Opry. Who's your favorite um, in the comments there? Because we're going to be drawing tickets for the Western Shindig happening in a few weeks over here so we want to see those comments from you tell us who your favorite headliner or performer has been from some of the past Opry's that's really great guys um cool cool anything else to say about the Opry tomorrow night's Opry that's tomorrow happening night's Opry. that's right mm -hmm. um, you still have tickets to that one uh yes still get um, in? okay right here 
uh, Jake Blocker uh, is from uh, Stockdale, and he's a upcoming uh, artist, and uh, he has uh, been nominated in the top five for Western Swing Artist of the Year by the Texas Country Music Awards. The winners are determined by votes. So come on out to the Floresville Opry tomorrow, hear him, and go to Texas Country Music Association website and vote for him. I know he would appreciate it. Winners will be announced uh, August the 15th in Nashville. Nice. So okay. uh, well, you have to he's keep us posted an, uh, about And that. I think he has mm -hmm. a CD out too. Oh, great. And he's local and great. he's been on the Opry. Mm -hmm. Uh, several times in the past mm -hmm. from the time he was mm -hmm. probably yep. in middle Surprise. school. <laughs> oh, nice. Growing up on the Floresville Opry stage. Pretty cool. Uh, the Western Shindig is mm -hmm. August the 17th at the Wilson County Expo and Community Center. I still call it the, the show, show Barn. Mm -hmm. And uh, Freddie Cruz and the Noble Outlaws uh, will be the band. And the doors open at 6 p.m. and music from 7 to 10.30. At uh, 6, we will have a chicken fried steak dinner by uh, Witties mm -hmm. from Lavernia. Great, great. And remember, give us, I see a couple of you guys sharing your favorite performers and headliners, but tell us who your favorites have been from the Floresville Opry stage um, in the past ones, because we have some reserve tables to be given away to those, some lucky winners. <laughs> Very good. Anything else to say about the Western Shindig? That's different from the Floresville Opry. Why? Uh, it's different because it's not the Opry house band. Our okay. uh, house band is made up of uh, different outstanding uh, musicians from other bands mm -hmm. and they come together uh, to just be our Opry house band and they are very good mm -hmm. and uh, oh great and um, and this see. is on a Saturday, Saturday. night mm -hmm. instead Saturday. of on exactly. the Thursday so uh, give some people a chance, chance to get to, there mm -hmm, when they can't go mm -hmm, during the week right. all the time what a great idea mm -hmm. and you've had is this gonna be your third Western uh, Shindig or fourth? it'll be the fourth fourth, fourth already Man, you cannot, you just don't stay stay put, do you? She you don't stay still. She's <laughs> always doing <laughs> I'm always thinking. <laughs> yeah. That scares me. Yeah. <laughs> Gosh, well, let me ask you two. Who have been your, who is your favorite? Or can you even answer that? Favorite performer from That's the past? Tough. or a Great memory because of their performance. I have to say Bobby Flores. Yes, that was what oh, I was going to yeah. say. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. He was so Such humble and so good, yeah, but, and but so many of them are too. And uh, yes, yeah. we've had Daryl McCall, mm -hmm. uh, we've had Tony Booth, we've had Billy Mata, yep. uh, Mike Hughes, uh, uh, Sean O'Brien. It's yeah. going to be in, in September. Uh, September. Okay, he's he's awesome. Yes, he is. And in our uh, September. We will be honoring the Peanut Festival Court uh, with the Grand Marge yeah. and those young kids. They they enjoy it. Mm -hmm. Right. I'm glad you do that. And then October is going to be a little different. Oh right? yes. Ooh. We got a new one coming in, and mm -hmm. his name is Derek Spence. Mm -hmm. He is. I think he's ranked number one. In George the, Strait impersonator. Well, in the United States. In the United oh, States. He's okay. the best impersonator. Oh my gosh. And he goes okay. all over the U.S. and does shows. Wow. Um, and it's a tribute to George mm -hmm. Strait. Yeah. I mean, this guy, listen to him on YouTube. Okay. And he Good looks extent. just he like George. Like he sounds like, like him. Yeah, like him. That sounds fun. Yeah. Okay. We're very mm -hmm. excited very to excited have him. This. We couldn't mm -hmm. afford George, so. though. Wow. It was a thought. Mm -hmm. <laughs> That is cool to write about that. That sounds really interesting. He's from Fredericksburg. Okay. And we just feel real honored yeah. that he accepted to yeah. come. That's very he's special. In big halls and mm -hmm. concerts, and here he's going to yeah. come to us. Yeah, that's he great. He gets like thousands and thousands. thousands. Of fans. So that's really cool. Yeah. Oh, that's in Vegas great. and in uh, Nashville, mm -hmm. uh, he performs there a lot. Mm -hmm. Wow. 
Well, so we know how busy that you stay and you just can't seem to stop having more events because <laughs> <laughs> there's one more uh, cool event that we'll be watching out for. And you want to tell us about that one coming in February of next year? Uh, yes. Uh, it will be the 90th birthday bash February the 15th, 2025, celebrating the p music of Johnny Bush, and you all know how good he was. He passed mm -hmm. away several years ago, and we will be featuring the Bandolero band members by the Justin Trevina Band, at, wow. and this one will be a little different because mm -hmm. it's going to be held at the Floresville Event Center, mm -hmm. and that address is 600 State Highway 97, west out of Floresville nice. and the doors will open at 6 p.m. and the music will be from 7 to 11 and wow. it'll be plenty of room for mm -hmm. dancing and we're looking and forward to it. got to see what y'all come up with by that <laughs> time to see oh boy it's going to be very special I know minute. and I'm real grateful mm -hmm to OBR mm -hmm. uh, Metal Buildings. They have offered to be a sponsor, so mm -hmm. that'll help us oh, out. And fantastic. if anyone else would like yeah. to be a sponsor, mm -hmm. we'd greatly appreciate it. Good. And I really want to say thank you to all the people that have made uh, the Opry and the Shindigs what they are today. That's right. it's, it's appreciated. Amazing, and to make the Opry like a sold-out event uh, yes. in 2023, 2024, just amazing and incredible to see it the is. growth um, and enthusiasm for this kind of entertainment and for the music. Um, it's just alive and well here yes, in our county. Is. I love that. Very good. Um, well, to wrap it up or sum it up, we can review uh, again these events. We have tomorrow night's Opry that you can still get tickets to. Um, it'll be really nice featuring Jake Blocker and you can get grab dinner and you just have a fun evening on a Thursday night and still get home in time, you and know. watch the news. Yeah, <laughs> exactly. Bring their own. Mm -hmm. It's a BYOB, okay. but we do have a concession stand right. with sodas mm -hmm. and setups and all that. And a, a world of desserts. A world of desserts. <laughs> What's caught on too uh, is people are having their birthday parties there oh, and are. inviding. Right. That's great. Good yes. idea. Yeah, it's fun. Yeah, we've done that a time or two. Yep. That, that's been fun. <laughs> you can great. bring in your own cake and mm -hmm. balloons and we'll whatever. Buy one in the yeah. in the auction. Yeah, yes. exactly. <laughs> Do it both ways. Take one home, right. then Take one home. for the real deal. Right. Yeah, and then in a few weeks on Saturday, August seventeenth, uh, we're ha they're having the shindig with dancing featuring Freddie Cruz and the Noble Outlaws. Yes, right? correct. So you can check that out if you can't make a Thursday Opry um, during their monthly times, then come on over to the Saturday event. And then following uh, the next Opry will be September Thursday, September 5th, 5th correct. Yes. featuring Sean O'Brien. Correct. Mm -hmm. Very good. All of this involves you can have a meal, you can have you know, family fun, enjoy the dancing, the music, and even enjoy people dancing, even if you don't dance. It, it's all of it, it goes together. It's yes. a great, mm -hmm. great time to have. So, it is. Anything else that you'd like to leave us with? And a reminder about February, probably, but Well, uh, you can phone me, 830-391-1062, uh, to reserve a table, and right. that's a good idea mm -hmm. to do, but right. if you just want individual tickets, uh, they're $15 at the door, mm -hmm. and a reserve table is uh, $100 so for eight, eight seats, yeah. eight seats. Yeah. and uh, the meal is separate, and that's $12. Mm -hmm. Wow. I know, it's a lot of food for $12. Mm -hmm. It is. Yes. It's a good, it's a great place to eat. It's a great deal, yeah, honestly, to get what you're getting. Yeah. It is a really good deal. And you can uh, go to mm -hmm. uh, Floresville Opry on Facebook mm -hmm. and uh, WilsonCountyHistory.org right. and find information. Mm -hmm. And mm -hmm. I post a lot myself right. on my Facebook page, Viola Hinky. Cool. And uh, let's see... Uh, 
or you can phone me for any right. information. Oh, yeah, absolutely. <laughs> and, you know, watch the Wilson County News because we do uh, oh, run the ads yes. for these yes. events, and we'll keep you informed that way as well. So there's plenty of ways to know about it, and if you needed to, you know, learn how to find tickets, you know, mm -hmm. the information is out there. So we hope you enjoyed learning all about how the Opry came to be and what these ladies do every day of their lives but practically but month in and, and month then out we have the rest of the team yes yes uh -huh. we call ourselves the red shirts yeah. um, oh cute <laughs> <laughs> we're sporting some of them yep. <laughs> with ruby well, it's snazzy and with ruby man and sarah hell yeah oh good and good. if you want to get involved mm -hmm. uh, oh, wilson yeah. county historical society if you'd like to be a member and Yep. You can make a lot of friends. Mm -hmm. and That's how I make a lot of friends yes, here, too, yes. thanks to you. Right. <laughs> yep. And remember to get your brick, brick order in for the get Jailhouse Museum. Order. Right, Neela? Yes. Great. Wow. Well, thank you so much for your time today and coming thank you on. Thank yes. 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 appreciate it. Yeah. Thank you for what you do. I'm so sorry. Really special. I just get nervous. <laughs> oh, I'm you're a lot better. Oh, behind you're the just scenes. absolutely you're adorable. No problem at all. Um, but share this video far and wide and get the word out about country, classic country music here in Floresville that happens every month and sometimes more than once a month. And you can't, you won't miss it. You should try it out if you haven't been. Um, thank you so much for what you do. Thank you all for joining us as well today. And I'd also like to thank our sponsor, The Price Way, which includes the dealerships of uh, Price Chrysler Ro Dodge Ram and Jeep and Richardson Brothers Chevrolet. They are located here in Floresville on 181 next to each other. You can shop all makes and models as well as a huge service department and also careers. So give them a shout out. And one last reminder too, we'll be watching this probably through the end of the day. If you would share who your favorite performer or headliner from a past Opry has been, share that in the comments here to this video. And we will be giving some prizes of some reserve tables for the Western Shindig, which is happening Saturday, August 17th. So do share those in the comments and uh, we'll hope to see you out there at one of these Opry's or Shindigs and see you around. Also, come back, come back next week for our WCN Live. We'll be here again. Thanks.